Hello and welcome to Frogty Frog Crochet and this stitch guide on how to crochet the vine stitch. So this is a really pretty little stitch that looks like berries hanging on a vine. To create this beautiful stitch, you're going to need a foundation chain in multiples of two plus one plus one for your turning chain. So to start the vine stitch, we're going to be making a single crochet in the third chain from our hook. So that turning chain counts as your first stitch, so I've already marked the chain before my hook, so it's ready to go. And then make a single crochet in each stitch across. So row one is just a row of single crochet. So when you've made the last single crochet of your row, you're going to turn and chain one. So we're sticking with the same colour for row two. Make a single crochet in the first stitch. I'm just going to mark that. Then chain one. Skip the next stitch and in the following stitch make another single crochet. Chain one. And repeat this across the row. Skip the next stitch and make a single crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip the next stitch, make a single crochet in the next one. And you repeat this across the row so that the last stitch is a single crochet after a chain one. So just getting into that turning chain. Okay, I'm leaving the last two loops on my hook because for row three we need to change colour. So I'll just get my second colour in here. And pull that through those two loops, turn and chain one. Okay, so row three. We're going to make a double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. I'm just going to move my stitch marker up. So in the chain space, we're going to make a double crochet three together. So this is going to be your little berry on your vine. So into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, but leave the last two loops on your hook. Yarn over into the same chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, leave three loops on your hook. And the final one, same again, Pull through the first two loops, three lo leave the last two loops on your hook, you have four loops in total, yarn over, pull through all three loops, then chain one. Okay, so it doesn't look very berry like right now, but it will do once we finish the next few rows. So after your chain one, you repeat the same again. Into that chain space, make a double crochet three together. And this is the repeat across the row. Make your double crochet three together, chain one. Skip to the next chain space and make another double crochet three together. And you repeat that all the way across the row. Chain one. Next chain space. Same again. Now, once you get to your last chain space, you make your double crochet three together. Oops, don't want to do that. Let's get those loops back on. Pull through, but don't chain one after the, the last double crochet three together. Instead, you're going to make a double crochet in the last stitch. And that's row three. So row four, we're keeping the same color. So turn, chain one. Make a single crochet in the first stitch. And then make a single crochet in each stitch across. So you're going to make a single crochet in the top of your double crochet three together then make a single crochet in the chain space. 
single crochet in the top of the double crochet three together, single crochet in the chain space. So single crochet in every stitch across. Then when you get to the last stitch, you're going to make a single crochet, but then leave the last two loops on your hook and rejoin in your first colour. So we get to carry our colours up the sides with a stitch. Then you're going to turn, oops, let me just get everything pulled in place, chain one. Okay, so row five. Make a single crochet in the first stitch. Let's move my stitch marker. Now we're going to start making our berries look like berries on a vine. So we're going to make a front post double crochet round the middle double crochet of our double crochet three together. So because they are worked together, you need to get down low. So you're going to go through the middle portion of the stitch. So just that middle one. Pull through a loop. You're going to pull up a little bit of a loop so you get the height and then finish as a double crochet. And now that is a berry on a vine. So once you've done that, you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So the next unworked stitch, that's the one that sits in front of your front post double crochet. So don't work in that one, work in this one. Okay, so that's the single crochet in the chain space. And then we make another front post double crochet around that middle double crochet of the berry. So you're going to get down halfway down that stitch, pull up a little bit of a loop because you need the height, and then finish as a double crochet. Make a single crochet in the next stitch, and then make another front post double crochet. And this is your repeat across the row. The front post double crochet around just that third, sorry, the second of the three double crochet, and then single crochet in the next stitch, and just repeat all the way across. So again, front post double crochet around the middle stitch, Oops. you've got to get halfway down because they are joined together. Pull up a bit of a loop and finish as a normal double crochet. And then once you get to the last stitch of the row, make a single crochet. And now you have your little berries on buns. Okay, row six, we're keeping with our first colour. Turn, chain one, and make a single crochet in the first stitch. going to chain one, skip the next stitch and make a single crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch and make a single crochet. So we're setting up for our next series of berry stitches, which are those double crochet through together. Skip the next stitch, make a single crochet, chain one. And do this across the row I'll just skip a stitch then. Ah, it's because my marker is in the wrong place, that's why. Nothing to worry about, it should be in there. Right. Da -da. Come on. And then, last stitch of the row is a single crochet. And there we go. So the vine stitch, you repeat rows two to six. And you're changing color every two rows. And there is your stitch guide on how to crochet the vine stitch. So I hope you enjoy this stitch and I would love to see what you make with it. Come and show us in our Facebook group, Frogty Frogs Ribbit and Stitch. The link is beneath this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel too for more stitch guides, 
free crochet patterns and hints and tips to help you improve your crochet as well. So thank you for watching and I shall see you next time for the next video. Bye for now.